welcome back to the wasteland. Um, hopefully my air conditioner is not hollow out. I got a basic bitch set up and it's hard to regulate sound. <laughs> and my dog's been flopping around on the bed, grumbling and growling so you can probably hear it. Um, I'm gonna try to remember what I did to myself and what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> my day looks ridiculous. Um, And also, I need to fix this. I don't know why I picked two just randoms and didn't make fucking custom characters. Can I? Rangers. Fix Good that? to see you. Can I still make people from scratch? Hopefully. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Let's see. Remove. Aha. Okay. Shit. Is it gonna cost me money though to get a new? Uh, here we go, custom. 200 bucks, son of a bitch. What do I have? Hold on, let me out of here. Shit, is it gonna cost me to get her back? Okay. Oh, I can retrain them. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Anything else? Uh, no, go away. I'll be here. So what do I have for <clears throat> skills? He's got lock picking and barter. She's got sniper animals. Big guns. Okay, so I need somebody that can do my who are you? Oh, yeah, I forgot he joined. Got kiss ass sneaky shit automatics. Okay. So I need to make a person that can do armor modding and then the other one be like weapon modding. I don't want one person with all that shit. So Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Okay. Reach. Will it be from scratch? Damn, that cost 20, 200 bucks, too. Oh, fuck, I didn't even look at how much money I have. There you go. Anything else? Now it'll probably go up in price as I level up or something, I would imagine. I'll be here. Or maybe the more times I do it. Where does it save my money? <clears throat> oh, up there, too. That's all my money. Okay, well, I'll just hold off on that. I'll just stick to my choices. That requires big guns. So I've got that already. And he's got a rocket launcher. That shit costs 6 AP, though. That costs the same amount as my other heavy. So I'll slap this on there. Since it only costs 4. Um, why's he got this shit over here? Hit. Fuck, I don't got no heals. Alright, I need to find my way around here. I already looked around in my base. Kicked out some squatters. System, systems active. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. I only did it just because, like, they just seemed like they just wanted me to just let them stay there and like use our shit just for I don't know if they would have been like wanting to be part of the crew or something it would have been cool but they were just like we were here first so we should just stay here oh, man, I got operations please my son's not a Dorsey let him go This kid's going in the pillories next. How does it feel now? This kid's going in the pillories next. Why is everybody yelling? 
Maybe it's just my headphones. They seem fucking loud. Although I'm probably gonna want that up because the voice acting. If it's good too dangerous for you, Marshals, maybe I should go in there myself. Sheriff Daisy, Sheriff, Miss, please. I've had enough of this. Why won't you people do anything? Ah, oh, Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. What kind of help do you need from the marshals? It's maddening. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. You mean the enemies of my enemies? Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. Good point. No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave <clears throat> until you speak to me. I would appreciate the chance to persuade her, Deputy. Miss Wesson, you're going to have to wait. I do apologize. Go in here and start stealing shit. Oh, hell yeah. Deputy Torres, will the sheriff see me now? Not yet. See me, because I ain't waiting. Sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey Raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Nice Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Exactly. Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Got a few questions before we go. Rangers, I'd love to trade war stories, but I've got marshals calling me left and right, dead folks lying in the streets, and reports of Dorsey stragglers all over the city. Let's circle back later. Now, the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. <laughs> and please, take young Miss Wesson with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm gonna insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. 
But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. How's your family? My mom and Pa are safe. Too. Still haven't heard from my son. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me <clears throat> marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter Lucia. of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Can you tell us about the Dorseys? No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. What is the Garden of the Gods? Sheriff Daisy didn't say. It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Before we go anywhere, let's talk about your combat experience. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. Have you ever killed anyone? I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Ah, survival, huh? <clears throat> Alright, let's roll. At last! Companion. <coughs> you created your first companion. Companions are you not kidding a squad member, unlike the rangers. You create companions or pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. Probably told me that when I got Quan last time. I have up to six characters. Up to four of them can be recruits. <coughs> leaving at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Alright. Got some. Oh yeah, I'm shooting like crap now. Ooh, a lot. Why is it telling me all this shit again? I guess I should disable. Oh, I can craft healing. Oh no, not the one I want. Acidic sludge. Pocket. So. Huh. Okay. Oh shit, I already got some armor on. What does it do? See what it does before I craft it. Shit, no. Last disciplines. Show stats. Oh, fuck. There it is. Oh, cool. New health. <laughs> I used my fucking scrap though. Make barrels. Holy shit, I can make a lot of stuff. Cone angle, magazine size. Cool. Alright, I'll have to look through that later, but so what is this? Armor modding. Who has that? I have three armor modding. So can only he put it in his shit? 
Oh, I have another thing too. Oh, who needs help? Oh, and can I level her? No, she's already leveled. What does she got? Oh, she's got weapon modding. Did I not give anybody... Yeah, she's got weapon modding. Four, two. Shit. That was a waste of points. I'll retrain her. Take that weapon modding out. I might just do that now. Um... Otherwise, that shit might keep getting expensive as I level up. We'll have our revenge. You ain't seen the last. <clears throat> Magistrate Silas Watkins. His dour man looks out of the looks out at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His <laughs> Sallow skin pulls tight over his face and his thin lips pressed together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. They are the only the instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. You have no other punishments here? For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Death by exposure seems harsh. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. Fair. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the Wastelanders. Goodbye. Indeed. <gasps> oh, someone please help my boy! Murderers! Okay, there is a corpse pile. Darcy scum! And I hope he dies slow! My son's not a Darcy! Let him go! Rangers. You told me that we were going to save my family. This isn't the way to the Garden of the Gods. Jesus. And if you All don't right. plan to honor your word, I'm leaving. Oh, I could have her meet us there. No, just... Come with us. Impossible. Who can say how long you'll be gone? I refuse. Well, I didn't know that we'll go. All right, fine. I'm glad. Yeah. Extra, extra! No, cowardly break, attack break, on Colorado yes. Springs! Oh, 
Mike was off. <laughs> the young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hand. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. What kind of authorization do we need? An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. What's through the gate? Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. He clearly feels his job does not include expansive descriptions. Alright. No, Good right. day. There. Um, oh yeah, what kind of weapon she got? Revolver. Snapshot. Only takes three AP. That ain't bad. She can't equip any of this, huh? Randy's diary. Crafting component. Do you oh. know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys. They want to be scared of a scrawny old man. Troy's diary. Huh. Hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, just Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. Come, Sarnet. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! The old man's shouting into the nor nearby shop and waving a shotgun around. Hush up now, Josiah! You can't go in there alone! They'll kill you! You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life! When she notices you, an expression of relief crosses her face. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. What's going on here? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. Why don't you ask the marshals for help? They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. You want help killing Dorseys? We're in. Finally, someone with some spine. I do it all myself, but since you're new in town, I figured you'd need to show your mettle. Josiah, don't you do this. Let these people handle it. They've had plenty of experience by the look of them. Well, I'm ready when you are. Um. Shit, should I have him come too? I wonder if he gets killed. Might be able to loot him. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we come, you Dorsey bastards! Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! I done told you! Don't come any closer! I have a kiss-ass option for you, you morons are holed up in a clothing store, put on some new duds, and just walk out of town. I'm not gonna kiss their ass. I'm gonna attack them. Only good Dorsey is a dead Dorsey. Oh, fuck! Damn, shit just got real. Shit got real. Armor system. Dude, I keep... Okay, press square. Disable to do this. Thank you. Man, this dude needs AP like hella bad. Okay, she's my sniper. What am I sitting on? 95. Can I? Yay. Get her up one. Oh, that's a good percentage from here, actually. 13, 35. 
have a better shot where she is. Let's get her up to one. Wait, he's only got nine? Oh, <laughs> he's hella gonna die. Oh, shit. <laughs> Press R2 to Boy, thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. Road to the north. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Oh, cool. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Um, hold on. Curious where that garage is. Uh, is that all you gotta say? Come on back after I open up my shop. These dudes drop. Bullets and bucks. Junk. Heels. Level five. Damn. Maybe you know, 
all weird. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am that the Dorseys are gone. Is and my goes? husband is still alive. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My okay. old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful, though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Literally what that person was just talking about. Snapping Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Uh, new faces? Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. Let's trade. Let's. Sell junk. Where's my money? Oh, okay. So I got 350. So this is my stuff. Alright, what kind of random shit do I have? Crafting. How do I... Oh, this will change to mine too. Okay, I'm not selling any guns. I'm not selling any ammo. Usables. Yellow snowball. Throw it at target character to leave them wondering when their life turned wrong. Bunch of percentages on random shit. Let's sell those. Smelling mushroom, 100% healing. On success, though. Could be harmless, could be toxic. Jitter. Those have too big a negative. No heals. Jesus, loaves and fishes, Christ! That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh shit, Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. I did the thing. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. We defused the mine. Really? That's great news. Oh, Here's money. a little something for you. I'm back in business. Fame increase as well. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! We have everything you need, just for the asking and, well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is, there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? That's what they all say. Sardine Lee! Hmm, looks like she's got some shit. That might not be. Can I? Slag sniper. Huh, <laughs> slag. That's funny. It's in borderlands. Oh shit, that's strong. Uh, hey, chums! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium! My store has Ev Sardinely. I think I want to spend all my money right now anyway. I'm 
might go through this area they're telling me to go and then see how much money I got. Ooh, that looks nice, too. Yeah, she's got some nice gear. What about Heelys? No Heelys. Did you see the Dorsey's almost oh, welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mark? Mary Milk Teeth. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that too. What do you need? What you got for sale? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Remedies for oh, regret, okay. children. I thought I was doing Headache the trade pills, thing. It says, what do you have to dog, sell? I didn't pills. know it was a question. Here you go, children. Oh, Salvation <laughs> is at hand. Money on these. Only got three. I got 17 of these ones. Buy seven of these. Damn, that's a lot of money. That'll put me up to 10, though. Fuck it. Staying alive is important. I'll get my money back. Let me see. So. Who's got. First aid, he's got one. He's got one. She's got two. He's got three, damn. I had more people first aid than I thought. Speaking of which, we could use a top off too. Well, I'll see if I find that doctor first. Well, that'll probably cost some money too. I thought it said it requires one. Oh, I was on the wrong person. He's down the slot. She's got a grenade. She's got him. Um... She can't even use it, so I'll give her the grenade. to fix this terrible crap always something else to fix let's hope you got another career plan i give it another three months before pesa leaves you in the dust uh, and so what if she does it just means i gotta work harder ain't no shame in that i'm gonna remind you that you said that Even in his old maid, <coughs> even in his old age, this man is impressive. Broad-shouldered and thick-necked, he wears his hair in thick white braids. Hey, Jimmy, glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far. Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. I haven't seen your friends before. You folks are looking for help with your vehicle. We've come to the right place. Cool. Looks like you also repair people. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. 
Only got two hands, though. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Oh, good. I didn't just ask a question. Thank you. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> No time. Linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly wary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Can we do anything to help? Gestures towards the injured patients lying nearby. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Part uh, or four, I can't do. You can count on us. What can we do? His shoulders sag with relief. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. We're on it. We'll talk more when you come back. If you're bowling from the plot of another old movie, oh, I swear to God, I'm gonna beat you with your own leg. Young woman is unconscious. Her head is wrapped in bloody gauze. So, I mean, who has stuff? He's got one of those things. Would that work on me? Don't look injured, though. Is that good or not? Badly bleeding. Injury. I don't think I have the thing. About you. Woman is almost unconscious. Her body is night a nightmare of bruises and welts, but at least she's breathing. Damage is severe but treatable with basic tools. Oh, I had attack. Oh, I fucking stop. wasted it on that other guy. I wouldn't. They stop. It hurts. Please! Where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? Okay, so this one must take the other one that I can actually use. Which was... Injury. Oh, fuck. I just used it. Oh, Major Tom's twitching. What? Oh, uh, this is kind of obnoxious. I can have that. This guy. I thought. What did I equip that on? What the fuck? That oh, I didn't press it. We should look around to see if we can find more of what Doc Parker asked for. Why are you doing it over there? Oh, I guess that's the person I need to do it on. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. I need another thing. What now? I don't know how to stop bleeding. Hey, can you patch this up? Now I can. Sure. Cool. 
Oh, he didn't even charge us. Okay. You're good. Cool. Any chance you'd be interested in working for us? We could use a good doctor at our headquarters. There are people dying right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I need to get you another thing that I don't know what it is. The convoy went down into a valley, and we all looked up to see a sky oh, full of bodies. Garden. Now realizing it, we stepped into the Godfisher territory. It says X to select, but it doesn't do anything. It says it's through the noise. Unshaven and slovenly, Marshal Lupinski shifts his unlit, half-smoked cigar to the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no Good disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. <laughs> What's behind the gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck those Dorseys. Good catch. No room for amateurs in this town. Yeah, I'll probably save it. Do a quick save. Hard save. Okay, combat. For the rangers, sit tight, we'll take care of the Dorseys. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You on the ledge! <laughs> Hands up! And he's both. Oh no. And they found me. That is it. Oh yeah, she's the only one who has that. Beefy green vegetables are happily growing atop this rock spire, warmed by solar collectors and other weird devices. The snow melts into droplets of water before it reaches them. Bring him back to Doc Parker. Oh. Oh. Oh, well that would have done it too. 
Well, that's good to know, though. gonna have a shot so uh, it's hard to see the outline on this white stuff. I think that's outside. Let's go here and overwatch. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! 
Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Her eyes brim with tears, and she turns away angrily when she sees you looking. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... Who are you, and what are you doing here? My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here. <laughs> Herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. Laughed at them when they begged for their lives. The kids were screaming, so they beat them too. Then they dragged them all further on toward their camp. How do you get enough solar power in this weather? The PALs, photon amplification lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it incinerated the whole fire pit, melted the entire grill goes to show what can happen if you put a decimal in the wrong place. Where are the hostages? I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but they were still alive. Goodbye. You saved my life. I won't forget it. Another melee weapon. Crap. Action points. Wait, is it action points or speed though? I think it's speed that makes you lets you move farther. He can barely go. Shot, but there's a spot Sheriff Daisy's needed for. Just doing a weird glitch noise. Combat speed while using big guns. Oh, good. Maybe that'll help me first turn, so that'll make me able to walk maybe more than one square. Seems like she can walk hella far though, and she's only got a little bit of combat speed. Maybe it's in her armor or something, I don't know. This luck is tight though, so I'm gonna pump one into the luck. That 
lucky sniper. Her. Shredder, it's a shotgun. Oh, shotguns are small arms too. Strike meter charges faster with the handgun. Wow. Shotguns do damage to cover. First attack after reloading costs no AP. Oh shit. That's pretty good. Snipers. Mark target reduces enemies' evasion. Mark targets also take more damage from precision strikes. That's pretty. Eh. That's tight. That's five. I could probably get that right now if I wanted to. And I want to. Okay. A recipe for ammo. 50 cal. Oh yeah, I gotta be mindful of ammo too. I'm not really planning on using that much anyway. Fuck, that's literally like two, so... and then just stop. <laughs> I remember Pogs. <laughs> I guess that's a sick eight ball slammer. Right. Uh, this is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number uh, 110. I've adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running. Oh, cut him off. The interface of the computer has been customized with a cartoonish plant-based theme. A large eggplant smiles and presents what looks like a game menu. Create a new character. You're assigned an avatar of a cob of corn. It stated your name was auto-generated, but you have doubts that Bella Maze was random. <laughs> oh, shit. Can't do nerd stuff, but, um... Oh, there's... Bellamy Land and Bellamy Land 2. Do the first one. Your vegetable avatar seems to be in a desert garden. You decide to stop after a series of events lead to all the cacti being slaughtered in a garden and some guy with a BB gun started hunting you down. 
Your vegetable avatar seems to be in that same desert garden. The game starts at the funeral of a fellow vegetable. The game ends abruptly after you wondered what would happen if you dug up his grave. Shot to death. That was the answer. Okay. Damn. So I need nerd stuff. Can I open this? I have power. Shit, okay, so nerd stuff's gonna be hacking. Uh, I should've known, okay. So I'm actually gonna have to put some points into that. What's happening? Oh. Bellum yet? Oh yeah, I already have Major Tom. Oh wait, can I, did I get it? No. Fuck, that sucks. I want to see what's in that safe. Trap. Oh. Oh. Ooh, can't do that one. No, no. Okay. I didn't think he was going to stop. Damn it. I can't wait. I want to separate him. Mile high mug. Sweet and mousy is her look, but she's got your secrets in her book. Perception plus one. Oh, all members too. Cool. Shrink grenades. that I could have fired twice.
50. Those guns are up. Oh, she's got a shotty shit. She doesn't even have a shot. Put her right here. Overwatch. Minus two action. Doesn't look like friendly fire is um, functioning. I think I, I can't remember which difficulty I selected. It was between like normal and challenging or something like that. And I think I chose the easier one, but I turned on um, friendly fire. Oh, here we go. Friendly fire on. I wanted to at least have to think about shit. Interface for the photon amplification lens looks simple. Most routines are automated, but there are some controls you can adjust. Uh, I'm gonna install that thing I just found. Remove a component labeled passive cross photon matrix and install the dynamic cross photon matrix. The short hiss and the piece starts smelling of ozone. Probably not a problem. Probably. Mm, let's adjust the collection amount. It's at its lowest setting currently. And an animated flower wears sunglasses and cringes from glaring sun rays. Increase to its highest level and activate. <laughs> Let's make this quick. I'll take it. Oh, you still can't walk or shit. Um, I didn't set anybody up. Damn, even my sniper ain't got a hit right here. Put her right here and overwatch. This is gonna be an overwatch here, it looks like. Doc can only move one space. Um, if it would let me, that would be great. It's been acting kind of funny. I'm pressing it. But like nothing else for me. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Apparently I can't move right there. All this overwatch, whatever. Oh, he's got a shot. Spawn's got good range with these assault rifles. Those heavy machine guns just pack a fucking wallet though. A couple of them. Oh, Lucian's got shot. Okay. 
up in the mix. I can't go there for some reason. That square is like, no. Didn't even let me just auto just be like okay I guess I'm shooting that guy. I must need to get used to it or something. Seems like it's acting funny. I don't know if it's just me or Got any shots? 
Fuck. Ain't funny, but you're laughing at jokes. Forty percent of a vehicle's health and fire damage over the next two turns and prevents the vehicle from taking any action. Plus it deals a hundred percent of weapon damage. So that'll be a good thing for against the vehicle. This dude, the other pair of hands, has that. As far as torsos.
nothing. Nothing. Six. I'm gonna give him the six. Closer. That is fucking ridiculous. That's like a big daddy mask. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, but he's gonna be up closer, so. The scent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from the pit. Oh, that's pleasant. Smoking bodies contorted by agony or post mortem muscle contracture like curled atop one another. It's impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Sia stares at the bodies. Her knuckles are white on the grips of her guns, and her breath comes in little gasps. I'm gonna leave her alone. <gasps> With an explosive gasp, she releases her breath and squares her shoulders. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't. Come on, let's find the monsters who did this. I'm just gonna step away. Clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. I'm Isaac Reed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brago's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I, I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I, I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. piece of shit you helped him kill Lucia's family and you want our forgiveness not forgiveness we want to face justice we know what we did is wrong but he swallows heavily it was Neilius Dorsey he went looking for your family Lucia your family especially that's why I got you out of your house before the raid I didn't want anything to happen to you you didn't want anything to happen to me so you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Were the Dorseys acting alone, or did they have support from other people? Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. Where's Neelius Dorsey now? He escaped. 
He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Why'd you do it? Why betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Yeah, you're one to talk. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Go for it, kid. He's garbage. Please, Lucia. I love you. Bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples, blood spilling from his lips and a slowly spreading pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head up to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It's gonna take him a long time to die. Finish the job, kid. You wanted to take a life. Take it. Okay. All right. She breathes deeply, her eyes closed. When she opens them again, you see the steely gaze of the killer. Isaac does, too. Please, Lucia. Please. She shoots him in the forehead. The back of her bow's skull splatters out across the snow. She turns away and is violently sick. Behind her, Isaac breathes his last. You psychos! You killed Isaac! You kill us all! Target this ability with each successful attack. No! Target specific area of an enemy. To... Oh yeah, that's what I've seen. It's just like that. Go for this guy. Shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? 
Over. We took care of the Dorseys. There are no survivors. Kick ass, November 1. Glad to hear justice has been done. Over and out. Oh, those dudes heads flopping. Got a pistol. Dollars, knuckles. Got a pistol, knuckles. It's good because I got a bunch of people with small arms. So that'll actually work out perfect. Ooh, shoddy. Capacity four. Alright, finally some weapons. Oh yeah, I gotta use that kit at the docks too. Alright, well, let's see. He's got... He's got a little bit of small arms, so instead of the flamethrower... Well, that only costs four. These only cost three though. Shit, shotgun too. Hmm. Let's range on this. And a half. Ooh, that's got long range. Heavy machine gun farther than I thought. Hmm. I'm gonna think on all this. Um, I wouldn't level her up. I have time for the dog bedtime stuff. So. I'll give her a little bit of luck. That seems good. Make a difference. Put her a little more into small arms. Field stripping now is a chance of providing weapons. Save it here. Stop. I gotta get up super early too, so. Hope you're enjoying your evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. 